Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and today we're going to take a look at what sold and what I bought. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales. Sometimes I go to a thrift store. And I buy stuff and sell it again online, mostly on eBay. And uh, what we're going to do today is take a look at a couple days of sales. Um, not, nothing great, but some pretty solid sales. Right? I'm, I'm happy with those. A lot better than today. Today, as I'm recording this Saturday, I don't think I've sold anything actually today. I think we might be getting skunked right now. It's a holiday weekend, and so I kind of anticipated it being slow. It's very slow for me right now. But we'll hit on that in a couple of days. Today, we're going to take a look at uh, Thursday and Friday sales out of my eBay store. And then I did hit up a thrift store for the first time in a long time. And I actually pulled something out of there that we're going to make some money on. So we're going to take a look at that also. Relatively small batch going out today, but some cool stuff. This has been sitting around for a while. And so I'm really glad to see it finally move out back from 1984, Michael Jackson doll that he still got the microphone with him. And this is a good one. This sold for $47.67 plus shipping. Very cool. Then we got another of the Coke Girls going on. Another one of the Timeless, the, the Tiffany style design. This one is Sparklingly Brisk from the Timeless Refreshment of Coca-Cola Collection. And it turns out it's headed to a viewer of the channel, too. Didn't realize that. Got an offer and countered and got a counter back and didn't realize it. And it turns out it's going to Melissa. $16 plus shipping for her. Melissa, thank you so much for coming in and picking that up. Another one of our Triumph pins. Vintage Triumph motorcycle pin. I think I have one left after this. I took an offer of 8 bucks. Plus shipping on that. Duran Duran. We've got a vinyl here. I haven't sold a vinyl for a little while. Cool to see one move out. This is an offer that I sent out. Uh, I think a 5% offer on this guy. $9.48 plus shipping for that. This just came back to me in the mail. You guys might remember it's Packmeyer. Uh, this is a pistol grip. Fits on a particular kind of Smith & Wesson. And the original buyer said that he thought it would fit his gun, but it didn't. And so he sent it back. And guess what? It has sold again. It sold inside of a day, which is pretty impressive. So I, I it was a dozen fit issue. So he didn't get his original or return shipping back, just the purchase price. So that's fine. You know, I'll list it again. And it sold like I said, right away, $18.59, I believe, plus shipping. So, sold that sucker twice now. This one coming in this morning, we'll sneak it in. Little mini duck keychain. And it's headed out to Ryan. Ryan, thank you so much for picking that up. Portion of the proceeds going to the Gary Sinise Foundation. We've got Las Vegas Golden Knights stadium giveaway hat. It's got station casinos on the back. Still new with the cardboard insert in there. Got this from uh, Carrie, American Arbitrage, who lives there in Vegas. So, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to go see a game in Vegas, but the tickets are just still so expensive, especially to get from here to there. But I'm going to get back to Vegas one of these days. I really enjoy Vegas. I've got a random mountain dog hair on there, I think. But uh, this, not super valuable, but still a cool hat. And it sold for fourteen twenty one free shipping. So basically, you know... It, $9.98 plus shipping or something like that for the Vegas Knights hat. And then Yeti, a fantastic brand for resale. This is the Rambler 36-ounce bottle. This is very heavy. It's got an over-the-nose thing, so you can tilt it up and your nose is going to go inside. It's very nice. And this is, I don't know if it says there, it says somewhere. This is, where is it? Is it here? Yeah, that was upside down, though. It's a brick red. And this is a retired color, apparently. And so people like this one. There's another red that's more valuable that's a retired color, a brighter colored red. But this one's still pretty nice. It's a nice brand. It's a good product. 
a color that people can't get anymore. Lots of checks in the positive column. This thing was listed for, I don't know, two weeks, something like that. And it sold for $54.39 plus shipping. Just a few Friday orders headed out, but some nice sales in here. I'm happy with them. This one is an international sale. We got a 12-inch reverse flash. A lot of 12-inch figures don't do particularly well, but there are those in that category that are a little bit more collectible. This is one of them. $33 on offer plus shipping, and it's headed to Mexico. So $33 plus, I think it's $19 for international shipping for Reverse Flash. Happy with him. We've got some Coca-Cola girls headed out. These two actually headed to the same buyer. This one is trying to get it to focus there. It doesn't want to focus all that well, but Enchanted Portrait with Coca-Cola is the name of that one. We'll just lay you down. And this one from one of the Timeless collections, the Tiffany style. Again, this one with yellow and black as sort of the predominant colors. I like that. There's a set that have these in. There's more that's white and red. There's a couple different ones. And this one I like. Uplifting Treat is the name of this one. And so both of those, like I said, headed out to the same buyer. This going for $19.00 plus shipping for the first one, and then the Tiffany style, $22.39. So we'll combine those and get those headed out. We've got here just these little plastic mugs, cups from Ruger, the firearm manufacturer. That's the logo there. And I actually got these free from a garage sale. The guy uh, used to be a rep, and so he got all kinds of different stuff. And he had these sitting around. And I have multiples in the store. I think there were five or six. I can't remember how many I have. But uh, the same buyer picked up two of them. $19.96, free shipping. But they're quite light. Once I box them up, probably the 8-ounce rate, I would expect. So definitely money left over after. And then we've got a comic book headed out. The giant-sized annual Amazing Spider-Man. This is the classic wedding issue. Really classic cover. This one... Going out on an offer I sent out, $22 plus shipping. So here's our little thrift haul. First time I've been in a thrift store, I don't know how long. I sort of made the commitment to not depend on thrift stores over the off season. To buy enough at estate sales and through the summer garage sales to last me until garage sales started again. And uh, it pretty much have. So I didn't have to go into the thrift store. I just did today. Uh, it was half off at this thrift store. It's typically a little bit overpriced for resale and frankly even for a thrift store like $15 on jeans and stuff. But on the half off weekend I've been able to find some stuff there and we did this time. I I don't know when I was last in there. Here we got a uh, Shockers hat Wichita State right and I don't know that this is anything Fantastic, but I figure it's at least a $10 hat or so, you know, $9.98 plus shipping. There's tag three bucks, so I got it for a buck fifty. Uh, Jimmy Buffett's Air Margaritaville Key West Fly Fast Live Show. I don't know. I, I, I've done well on Margaritaville stuff before. I don't know about Air Margaritaville, but I've done well on Margaritaville before, so that's why I picked it up. Buck fifty on that as well. Jimmy John's. I I do pretty well with hats and shirts from different restaurants. They just sell well. And JJ, I saw that. And I thought, I think that's Jimmy John's. How do you know for sure? Well, it's tag Jimmy John's inside. So that works out pretty well. This one was actually only tag $2. So got it for a buck. So I like listing and selling hats. So we'll do okay, I think, on those. I got this guy. I have no idea, guys. I mean, you tell me in the comments, I guess, if you would have picked this thing up. I think I got charged 50 cents for this. I think it was a large plush is what it's considered. But it's clearly homemade. And at least I think it's homemade. I don't know. It, it looks like a homemade dog to me. I don't know if it is. Maybe it's one of the... It could be a kit because these aren't different pieces of material that's actually on there. So this could be a make-your-own-plush-dog-kit type of thing. 
but I just thought it looked cool. And so I picked it up for, I guess I got it for 50 cents and I actually got it intentionally for selling at the, uh, the show that we're going to be at here in a couple of weeks. I thought, you know what? I could put five bucks on that on the table and somebody will buy it and we'll make a couple bucks. I think we'll see. This is really the winner right here. And I saw this right at the very end. I was getting ready to check out 40 bucks. It just came in the other day. They tag it with a date on there. So April 1st, look for this guys. I, if, if you don't know cameras and you don't know what to look for, like anything, there's a lot to know and a lot to look for, but the Pentax K1000, look for the K1000. This is a fantastic camera. It sells very, very well. A lot of beginner camera students will pick this camera up. This will go to a lot of college students and a lot of people learning with the old 35 millimeter film cameras. The K1000 is very popular. Now, this uh, lens that's on here is actually a pretty solid lens, too, other than it's got a little ding right there. Somebody dropped it. So that's unfortunate, but I think it'll still do okay. This is a good lens. So I ought to be able to get at least $100 out of it. I haven't found one for a little while, so I'll have to look up the comps. I've gone through and tested as well as I can without running film through it. I, I tested there in the store. It's got a light meter inside, and so when you move it around and change the settings, you should see on the side, you should see the meter move. That moves just fine. It clicks through, it winds, it opens. It's very clean on the inside. So I've not film tested it, but everything else seems pretty good. So I think we're going to do well on the K1000. Very excited to find that. And these, I don't remember offhand the comps. This one tagged eight bucks. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it, I'm going to have to fight to get it out. This is as far as I got it out in the store too. But it looks like it's in good shape. Super Takamar. And what you would do is, see it's made in Japan, which is often a good thing. So you'd look up Super Takamar, and then you'd look up right there. You'd look up the ratio number right there. And that's going to give you your comp. Now, I think you can actually type in the number on there as well. You don't have to. Um, so this one I didn't get out and look into, unfortunately. But I think it came from the same place. So I think it's I think it's good. You can look in these over time. They will build up um, like mold will get inside there. And you can hold it up to a light and you can see like the little spores and stuff in there. And the other that I picked up was clean. So I think we're good. So I'll put the comp up because I cannot remember offhand what it was, but pretty good. Certainly good enough to pay what well, was tagged eight. So we got it for four. And then this one was tagged 10. And it's got both sides there, which is good. Same brand, very clean. Look into it and you'll be able to see if we've got any sort of mold or anything like that in there. And I didn't see any, so I think we'll do well on that. Put the comp up for that as well. And then I found this. This is almost retail arbitrage style here. These were $5 a piece as tagged, so I got them for $2.50. And all, all I did was I scanned the barcode. They had a whole bunch of these. Scanned the barcode, and the sell-through rate was very good. Like four listed, six sold, six listed, six sold, that, that type of thing. And they had about five different racers. We got Supercross. They're little die-cast bikes with the racer on there. And this one is Justin Cooper. I don't know Justin Cooper at all. I don't know supercross motocross it's not my thing but uh this has a very good sell-through rate and they look like they sell about ten dollars plus shipping so 250 to 10 it's not huge right but there's five of them so we're going to make like six bucks each time one sells on a quantity listing times five so that's very easy the same with this this one is chase sexton i scanned the other names there and the sell-through rate was okay just not great. And I didn't want to be stuck with a bunch of these for a long time if they're not going to sell. It's certainly not for, you know, five, six bucks at a time. You know, I was trying to be a little bit selective. So we got 10 of them. And I think we're going to make, you know, if we make six bucks at a time, we make 60 bucks profit after, uh, after purchase price and after fees on that, on two listings. So I'll take that. So that's what we picked up 
from the thrift store today. Here's our receipt. We'll show you. It would have been $116.75, but because I went on 50% off, we got it for 58 bucks and change. All of our purchase price is going to be made up on the profit off of these guys. And then the cameras and the, the camera and the lenses and the hats are all profit. So I'd say we did okay. So there you go. A couple days of okay sales. And then uh, one little thrift stop that actually made a little bit of money. Didn't record inside the store. They don't like filming in the store. They're not super uh, friendly with resellers there. Uh, some of them more than others, but management even just... They're not real happy with resellers, which is silly, but it's what it is. So I uh, don't go there very often. First time I'd been in there in a very long time. Uh, they'd actually reorganized stuff in there. I, I didn't even realize where some of the departments were because they moved them all around. It's been that long since I've been in there, but it was worth stopping in. And we definitely are going to make uh, a couple hundred dollars, I think, uh, probably $300 or so off of that stop and profit. So happy with that uh, not loving the weekend right now but we'll we'll take a look at that uh like i said here in a couple of days i hope you guys have a good holiday weekend both with your family and with sales or at least one or the other right i'm gonna get going i gotta put this thing together get it up and get ready for the weekend myself we'll see you next time guys <music>